it's Thursday, October something, 2009. I don't remember. My life is a disaster and I have no idea what day it is. stay on track when you're at school, at work, they're cracking up at me in the kitchen over there. <laughs> I've got to get this done with. What? Anyway, I really don't know how to answer this question because I work at home. I don't go to school. I basically never leave the house except when I go out to eat, in which case, um, it's not so much a technique of like, how do I keep on plan while on the go, but it's more like, how do I keep on plan while at a restaurant? So I'll talk about that, I suppose. Um, when I did work in the office, I would just do what anybody else would do, pre-make my lunch in little Ziploc baggies and try and keep things fresh by keeping them cold. That's like the u most useless advice you could ever have from me because we all know, make your lunch ahead of time, pack it. Not that hard. But when I go to the restaurant, what I do Typically I'll look up the calories ahead of time, or now that I have an iPhone, I'll look them up when I'm there. But um, before iPhone land um, that I now live in, I used to look up the calories online beforehand, or I would decide what I was gonna eat, and then try and find something that would go into that mold. So I'd say, okay, I wanna have three ounces of chicken and a huge salad, and so then I'd have to find like, I don't know, Caesar salad, get the dressing on the side, and only eat like half the chicken, because usually Caesar salad have like six ounces of chicken on it. Um, but over time, I've sort of grown accustomed to being able to plan ahead completely to the point where, like, if I'm going out for dinner, I'll eat very little for breakfast and lunch. And it's a very bad habit to fall into every single day, to eat a tiny breakfast or no breakfast and a tiny lunch and then a huge dinner. That's the key to slow metabolism. But if you just do it once in a while, it's actually a great way to be able to eat out and not have to restrict yourself so hard and be able to have a good time. So I'll have a small breakfast, a small lunch, maybe a little nibbly snacks, and then I'll go to dinner and have like a thousand calories that I can eat and I can have, you know, a big Caesar with dressing on the side so that it's not a thousand calories, but you know, like six or seven hundred calories of Caesar salad. And I can have like a glass of wine or a mixed drink and maybe even a couple bites of dessert and I can stay on plan. And the last thing I want to say is that what I'll do if I really want to go out and have a good time is I'll decide to go up to maintain weight calories. Right now, I'm at maintain weight calories every day because I'm eating now for maintaining my weight for now. But when I was losing weight, my calories were about 1,400 and I would go up to almost 2,000 calories when I would go out and eat. So that gives you like 1,500 calories to play with if you eat small throughout the day at the dinner and that's tons. I mean, I know you could like go to Claim Jumper and eat 4,000 calories in one sitting, but still 1,500 is like a big, broad range of calories that then you can use to eat liberally at the restaurant and not be gaining weight. So that's what I do. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. The advice this week thus far has been really fantastic and I can't wait to see what everybody else has to say before we start up next week. So I'll see you next Monday, in fact, and um, sorry for the confusing week. Jason's doing a lot better. Although he's going to keep claiming he's in horrible pain, but he is getting better. And we'll see you next Monday, and you'll see Jason here next Thursday.